thing. Mm -mm. Last time we went, you did all that Peggy Fleming stuff. The best I could do was three laps around the rink on the sides of my ankles. <laughs> hey, here's your mail. Oh, thanks. The Viking Voice. Who hit you up for a subscription to that? Ah, it's my high school alumni magazine. Yeah? The Viking Voice, Leif Erickson High School, Rosenberg, Minnesota. Uh, no, that's Roseburg. They probably changed it. <laughs> so, uh, anything about you in here? Oh, I don't know, maybe. What year did you graduate? 1959? Yeah. <gasps> Mary, you're famous. Where? Mary Richards, who everybody thought would be the first girl in our class to be married, you... has proved to be a real surprise. Not only is Mary still single, but she's become a real career gal. That's what it says, career gal. Uh, could I have it now? Word reaches us from the Twin Cities that Perky Mary is the producer of the Ted Baxter program there. When are you gonna settle down and produce some kids, Mary? Oh, boy, that's really hitting low. Estelle and Vernon Proust, 59, vacationed this past August at Moose Lake, where they didn't go swimming because Estelle had a summer cold. Oh, here is a picture of Estelle not swimming. <laughs> this Estelle must be very close to the editor of the Viking Boys. Uh, Estelle Ooh. is the editor of the Viking Boys. Then is she the one responsible for that cute little item on you? Mm hmm. Estelle stopped liking me when we ran against each other for Viking Queen. And you won. Well, yeah. Viking Queen. <laughs> well, Your Highness, I think you ought to read this right here. Howard Arnell, class of 56, writes that he is still single, but as he puts it, always looking. <laughs> as long as you're looking, Howie, why don't you look up Mary Richards? Oh, thanks, Estelle. That's all I need is for Howard to read this, just when I haven't heard from him in what, six months. Maybe he'll miss it, Mayor. Wait, no, it's okay. Howard adds that he has just accepted a position as head of product development for the Whizbang Novelty Corporation in Denver. <laughs> Denver's loss is Mary Richards' gain. Hey, they're having the 50th anniversary of the founding yeah. of Leek Therickson. All the classes are having reunions. Hey, you know, I really ought to go to that. You know, give everyone a chance to say, so how come a cute girl like you isn't married, Mary? Mary, why would you want to go through that when you don't have to? No, I'm used to it. So how come a cute girl like you isn't married, Mary? Oh. <laughs> During my facial isometrics. Oh. It's great for firming up the old face. Now, if you could just firm up the inside of your head. Oh, the top side of yours. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that joke? I got him, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did, Ted. I don't believe it. Ted said something almost witty. Hey, Mer, I was just wondering, do you think that there's any news value in the 50th anniversary reunion of a high school in upstate Minnesota? Only if the roof collapses during the dinner dance. <laughs> well, I, I just thought it was sort of interesting. Anybody get hurt? What? In that accident at the high school reunion. Ted, I think you missed something between grimaces. Oh. Say, Mayor, here's another one of my isometrics. Oh, yeah, I've tried that one. Helps develop the chest. Not always. <laughs> the reason I mention this high school reunion thing is it's my old school and I'd sort of like to go. I think you should call in sick Friday. That's a bad idea. I just, I don't think it's very ethical to call in and say you're sick when you're not sick. Okay, have it your way. But look, if you want to try to convince Lou, Mary, I'll back you up. Oh, would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Went to my reunion a couple of months ago. Famous announcer's school. That's a correspondence course. Where did they have the reunion? In a mailbox? <laughs> Ted, if you're trying to pick up that chair, I suggest you get out of it. Just trying to firm up the old tummy muscles, Lou. <laughs> Looks like you could use a little of that yourself. <laughs> My tummy is firm, Ted. 
By golly, it is. <laughs> Say, Lou, how do you keep in such great shape? <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Grant. Um, I was just wondering uh, what you thought about this. Um, there's this high school in Roseburg that's having the 50th anniversary of its founding this Friday. And, uh... I was uh, just wondering if we would uh, be interested in um, covering this uh, event. You know, cause I thought you, if, if you'd be at all interested in it, I could um, go up there and uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, look it over. Why, I think that's a wonderful idea, Mary. You do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I think it's too big a story for you to handle by yourself. I think maybe we ought to send a crew up with you. Maybe even Ted. And if it's, a, if it's the blockbuster I think it is, we can do it again next year. On the 51st anniversary of this dumb school that nobody could care less about. You don't have to get sarcastic about it, Mr. Grant. If you don't think it's a good story, then just say so. <sighs> I think he just did. Thanks for backing me up. Oh, please, Mary. I feel badly enough about it. You happen to be a graduate of this dumb school that's having a birthday? Well, uh, yes. Why didn't you just ask me for the day off? Oh, Mr. Grant, could I have the day off? No. <laughs> General manager's putting the heat on about giving days off. Well, listen, that's okay. I understand. I, you know, I really do. Uh, uh, look, if you really want to go, why don't you do what I do? What? Call in sick. <laughs> Hey, I was just wondering if you'd mind taking me. I would love to, but I'm not going to work today, Rhoda. I am taking the day off and going to my high school reunion. I know. That's where I'm wondering if you'd mind taking me. <laughs> to my class reunion? Why would you want to go to that? Well, Mary, I never had a class reunion of my own, being from a deprived area and all. And I sort of, you know, wanted to know what one was like. Uh-huh. And I don't have anything to do this weekend except sit around upstairs in my lonely room. Uh-huh. And uh, it occurred to me that at these reunion things, one might run into a lot of recently divorced men. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Rhoda, how would you get away with it? Hey, Mary, just let me take care of that, huh? Okay, fine. If you want to come along, you're welcome to. Well, I love the company. To tell you the truth, I wasn't looking forward to that long drive. Hey, you better hurry up and get packed. Yeah, good. It's Mary. Mr. Grant, I won't be in today. I'm not feeling well. Yes, I'm sure that I'll be fine by Monday. Thank you. Hey, Mayor, you can teach me the old fight songs in the car. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Mr. Grant, it's Mary. Uh, listen, you know, I'm not really sick. <laughs> Calling in sick. Is this nineteen fifty nine? Yes. Oh, hi, Estelle. Uh, Arnell Howard, how are you? That's Howard Arnell. I put my last name first. There's a comma there. Oh. This is Mary Richards here yet? Or isn't she coming? Oh, she'll be here. All the old Viking queens are off somewhere getting their pictures taken. Well, that's a relief. Say, you're not 59, are you? Oh, no. 56, Estelle. Oh, well, 56 is meeting in the library. Yeah, I know. It's a dull party. The librarian keeps shushing me. <laughs> I just wanted to stick around and say hello to Mary. Well, I'm expecting a big 59 turnout. You can't stick long. Oh. Say, that's uh, really cute, the way you got your old picture on there. 
56 only gave us a name. Oh, yes, just a little idea I had. I had this old yearbook, and I just cut out those pictures and blew them on their name tags. That way everybody can see what they used to look like and give them a good laugh. Oh, yeah, that's really going to be funny. <laughs> Howard, huh? take off your shoes. Take off my shoes? Yes, Coach asked it, said we could only use this gymnasium on the condition that we don't scuff up his basketball court. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Both shoes, Estelle? Mm -hmm. Listen, um, could, couldn't I just uh, take off one shoe and then kind of hop around? I'm really a good hopper. Both shoes, Howard. We've all got both shoes off. Yeah, but you see, off I... Off or out. Terrific, Estelle. Uh huh. You know, I was really worried you weren't coming. Oh no, we're uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Howard, you remember Rhoda Morgenstern? Why, sure. I haven't seen you since graduation. <laughs> hey, let me get a shot of you girls. Well, Howard. Hold uh, it. What? Uh, uh, <laughs> you've changed, Rhoda. Oh yeah. yeah. I blossomed. <laughs> Mary, would you like to register? You're holding things up. Oh, I'm expecting a big crowd any minute. Sure. Hold it. Uh, Howard, listen, I've got here. To, uh, I, I have to register here, Howard. So, uh, look, why don't we just do this later, okay? Oh. Okay, Mary. Okay. Oh, let me take your coat. Oh, no, that's okay. No, no, no I, it's I, okay. It, you, I, got, I, I got it. <laughs> oh, Mary, I'll be over there under the backboard. Good. Yeah. <laughs> why uh, isn't he wearing any shoes? Oh, we're none of us wearing any shoes. What is this, a sock hop? <laughs> It was the only way we could get to use the gymnasium. Ruth Gunderson had her eyes on it for 58, but I got it. I just know we're going to have the most terrific turnout. Well, you sure got off to a terrific start, all right. See, I don't seem to remember you. You're not 59, are you? No, Estelle. 59? Uh, Do I look like a 59? 55? <laughs> Class of 62, Estelle. Well, 62 was meeting in the cafeteria. Well, I'm just going to hang around a few minutes while Mary registers. Mary Richards. It is still Richards, isn't it? Ah, uh, uh, yes, it's uh, still Mary, too. <laughs> so you've never been married, Mary. No, Estelle, I haven't. I've been married twice. She liked it so much the first time. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh, well, now, you know, that figures. <laughs> what? You look exactly the same as you did in high school, doesn't she, Estelle? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, shoes off. Oh, right. Just put them over there in a row with the others. Having fun so far? Mary, look at the square with the crew cut. <laughs> Last time I saw a guy in a haircut like that was in a movie. He was going to the electric chair. Hey, Mayor! Over here! Oh! I meant this backboard. Ah! <laughs> Howard, what's the matter with your foot? Oh, nothing. That's, that's just, I just, uh... Oh, what the heck. You and I don't have any secrets, do we, Mary? <laughs> Look, I got a big hole in my sock. Look at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you certainly keep your toenails looking nice. Thank you. I suppose you think it's one of those cute bachelor things, huh? Uh -huh. You know, a big grown guy like myself with a hole in my sock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, you girls like some punch? Oh, I don't think so. Maybe uh, a little... Oh, Mayor. Doesn't this take you back? It sure Mary does. Mary Richards. 
Well, oh, well, it's well. Ed Mims. Hi. Hi, Ed. Howard Arnell, 56. Remember me? Uh, no. <laughs> Ed Mims? Yeah, Rhoda. Oh, sure, Rhoda. Hey, how are you? How have you been? Yeah, fine, fine. How's yeah. the wife and kids, Ed? Oh, I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I can admit this now, Mary. When I was a sophomore, you were a senior. I had the biggest crush on you. <laughs> Hold it, Mary. Hi. 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 Hello. Nobody knows me, right? <laughs> To tell you the truth... I didn't think you would. Eldon Colfax? Oh, That's me. A little tubby Colfax. Gee, you don't look anything like your picture there. Hair transplant, contact lenses, nose job. Oh, well, I love your face. It's getting there. Well, uh, what have you been doing with yourself? Oh, I've been having plastic surgery, mostly. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hi, bet you don't know me, right? Well, it certainly is interesting seeing all the old uh, faces. It sure is. I see you've got one of those uh, haircuts. Oh, yeah, thanks. Hippie style. <laughs> huh? uh, over the years, kind of like that, you know. Oh. oh, no, I don't think it's... Oh, well, I guess I'll just stay with the old flat top. <laughs> so what are you doing these days, Ed? I'm a barber. <laughs> But I guess some people might look at me as being a little square. What's the wrong with being a little square? I ask you, where would this country be without us squares? Great flat top, Ed. Really neato. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rhoda. Rhoda, yeah. Hey, yeah. say, Rhoda, you want to go down to the cafeteria with me? Uh, maybe. Well, 62's got a combo down oh. there. We can do some of the old dances, you know? Yeah, that'd be nice. Square dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's the matter. We had a graduating class of 175 and 11 people show up. Well, it's, it's a very nice 11, though. Oh, yeah, you've done a heck of a job here, Estelle. The class of 65 has 102. Helen Westerberg told me they're packed like sardines in the biology lab. She wants me to trade and let them use the gym. Oh, our class never did have any spirit. We didn't even have a full turnout for graduation. <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody, it's Mr. Vandermast. What class is this? A 59. A lousy turnout. <laughs> well, I'm expecting a lot more. Don't hold your breath. Your class never did have any spirit. <laughs> Mr. Vandermast, won't you say a few words to everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vandermast. Welcome back to Leif Erikson High, students. It's nice to see all of you. All ten of you. Eleven. All eleven of you. Is your class president here? How about a vice president? I'm here. I was the secretary. Oh, good. It's good to see you. Is that uh, Estelle? Oh, he remembered. <laughs> doesn't he have a marvelous memory, doesn't he? Thank you very much, and uh, welcome back. How about some of my punch, Mr. Vandermast? Mary Richards. Oh, it's so nice to see you again, Mr. Vandermast. Oh, formality isn't necessary, Mary. We're not principal and student anymore. You can call me Vandy. Uh, oh, no, I couldn't. No. Oh, you don't want to make me feel like an old man, do you, Mary? Oh, no, no, of course not. Vandy. <laughs> don't be piggy with Vandy, Mary. Some of the rest of us want to see him, too. You're going to uh, stay a while longer, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I guess I can stay a little while. Oh, good, because I understand there's going to be a little uh, presentation to you later on. To me? Uh, what for? <laughs> <laughs> Tamir. 
I, uh, I see you were talking to Mr. Vandermast there. Yeah, gee, I always liked him, didn't you? No. <laughs> Take your shoes off, Vandermast. <laughs> Listen, Mayor, I, uh, gotta talk to you a minute. Oh? Look, I just didn't happen to come to this reunion. I came here to talk to you. Well, what about, Howard? Oh, look, Mayor, I, I pretend I like playing the suave, eligible bachelor. But it's all a game, Mayor. A big game. Oh, I know. Happy-go-lucky Howard. A lot of laughs, good times. <laughs> Mr. Hip. That's what you think, isn't it, Mary? Oh, no, no, Howard. I've, I've never thought of you as uh, Mr. Hip. Well, that's why you're special, Mary. See, that's why I had to see you. You, you know what I need. No, Howard, I, I don't think that I do. Yes, you do, Mary. Don't you be modest. There's something lacking in my life, Mary. Uh, something, and that something is someone like you. Marry me, Mary. Isn't everybody? They've chosen our reunion to announce they're getting married. No, 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 we are not. No, we are not getting. We're, we're not? No, Howard. Oh. <laughs> Howard, listen, I think you are one of the nicest, sweetest people I know, and I thank you for wanting to marry me, but no, Howard. Then you have some girlfriends you could introduce me to? <laughs> oh, man, you don't know what it's like. Man my age, what I have to go through. <laughs> Most of the girls I date are such drags. Oh, Mayor, hi. Hi. Oh, uh, excuse me, just a minute, Howard, will sure. you? Sure. Oh, Mayor, you'll do that for me, won't you? Yeah, Howard, I'll, I'll, I'll try to think of someone. What's the matter? They really got square dancing down there. And Ed, you know, he loves it. He's still down there. He won't know I'm gone until I get to the do, -si -do. <laughs> So what's with Howard? He wants me to introduce him to some girls. And you couldn't think of any, right? Rhoda, you wouldn't be interested. Howard is boring. Boring, huh? Yeah, he's, he's kind of dopey. Yeah, dopey? Well, to give you an example, I, I see him, what, maybe once a year. Every time I see him, he asks me to marry him. So, Howard! <laughs> Mary, I always hoped that you would be back here one day getting an award. Well, I just... I don't know what I've done to deserve one. Oh, if you'd been coming to our reunions every year, you'd know that someone is always honored with a trophy. A trophy? <laughs> Let me read you what it says. To that member of the class of 1959 of Leif Erickson High School, who has come the furthest to the reunion. Well, I uh, don't uh, know what to say. I, I mean, I only traveled 125 miles, so. That's 100 miles further than last year's winter, Mary. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you. I just, I've never had an honor bestowed upon myself like this before, so it's hard you know, to find the words uh, to express, I guess, what I'm trying to say. It's necessary to make speech, man. Oh, no, no, no.